One week ago, I didn't know how to code, so I learned, and the challenge is to make my first mobile game in two days. The goal is to have a player with physics, levels, and the ability to die, respawn, and die some more. Let's get started. So I made the entire game in two days and woke up the day after at 5.30 a.m. to start getting clips of the game for this video. I launched the project and... Uh-oh. Stinky. The project wouldn't launch. And now, the new challenge was to make my first mobile game in 12 hours. So I opened up Unity and created a new project. And as all other good games with bean characters start, such as Fall Guy Beans, Among Us Beans, and Danny's Beans, I created my own bean. I added him into the game and gave each part of his body a rigid body 2D component to have physics. Wow. But all the little pieces of him would fall apart, so I had to add fixed joints to the arms and legs to connect them to the body of the player. And then he fell over. Perfect! Now we need some movement! And because I had already made the entire game, I was able to find the script for movement, so I yoinked that and changed it a bit because it was trash. I then deleted a few things from the script, mostly to do with puzzle solving levels because it didn't work that well when I had made the game originally. Then I needed a joystick to control the player, so I installed the joystick pack into the project from the package manager. It worked perfectly. Wow! He could rock back and forth on his leg, so I had to bump the movement speed way up, and boom! He slides like all beans should. I imported the spike that I made and needed to start work on the ability to die. I put in the killing script and just had to change one thing because before sometimes the player for whatever reason wouldn't respawn at the spawn point and you would just die two to three times when you should have only died once. So what I changed was that changing the position of the player was on the update function so that it would for sure get triggered before the sprite was set active again. And it worked perfectly, as I had hoped. Now dying works and he could respawn just at negative 200 on the z-axis so you can see him. But that's okay. I put sound effects into the game. If you were wondering what I used, it was SFXR. It's, it's, it's uh, pretty cool. I then needed to implement jumping. I had the base for it coded. At first, it looked like he was just having a seizure when you tried to jump, so I messed around with settings on the rigid body component, made the world have low gravity, and then eventually turned him into a fish, and he was flip-flopping all the way up into the sky before he was able to infinitely jump, so I coded in a thing to track whether he was on the ground or not. After about 20 to 30 minutes of me messing around in the code, I managed to get it to look like this. And he was only able to jump once. I then wanted to work on UI and made a couple animations, such as this one for loading and levels. I also made a main menu, which has one button to get to the levels, and it then has a little menu that slides up to select the level. Time for particle effects. I made this death particle, then I made another for when moving. Sorry it doesn't look that great, I still really don't know how to use Unity's particle system properly. But now I needed to code that to play when moving, so I coded that if the horizontal movement was greater than 1, then it would make the particles active. A few seconds later, I realized I was a big dumb, and the movement could be in the negatives as well, so it needed to happen only if the movement was not 0. And it worked! Woo! I then coded the camera to follow the player on the x-axis and only follow him on the y-axis if he would go up. Now it was time for lighting and post-processing effects. This was where the game went from Brad to Chad. 
I added a couple lights to the scene and changed a few colors. Also, this is what the camera follow looks like. I started to mess around with the post-processing and burned my eyeballs while doing it. However, the bloom did not stay, it was a bit too crazy. I ended up adding a vignette, some film grain, chromatic aberrations, panini projection, and a color channel mixer. It all ended up looking like this. I made a final screen for after the players have beaten the entire game, and I was done with an hour to spare. So I completed my challenge to make a game in 12 hours in 11 hours. Check out the game if you have an Android. Link to the page in the description below. So smash like, subscribe, and always remember to keep your windows unactivated. Also, boys, thanks so much for 1k subs. I thought the channel would hit it after the last video, and we did. Very nice. Thanks so much for all the support, and for anybody that watches the videos until the end. Thanks to all the patrons of the channel. Huge thanks to the two legends of Patreon, Big Mason 23 and Lemon Doll. Big thanks to the four big boys, Ducky on Quack, Grizzly, Soup Cream, and Titans. And thanks to the rich boys, Dave the Week and Michael Joe. As well as a final parting thanks to our first patron, an apple in a box. Thanks, my guy, for the support through Patreon on this journey of the YouTubes.